what's going on everyone? My name is Steve and this is Maple and Honey. Today we got a couple, a couple things. First one, a darn good whiskey, a bottle of whiskey. We got the Midwinter Night Dram Act 10 Scene 3. So we'll try that out along with some Korean barbecue brisket. We'll grill this uh, set of beef right here, right on the grill and we'll taste it and it's gonna be great. I haven't had my lunch so I'm, I'm, I'm famished. So we'll, we'll see how that tastes. And then we'll have it together with the whiskey and the brisket. So I'll share my thoughts on that and we'll go from there. Sounds good. All right, let's hit up the, heat up the grill. Right. Um, oh, then I almost forgot. Garlic, gotta put the garlic in there. There's a little bit of a sesame oil in here. We'll cook the, the garlic a little bit in the hot oil. We also got a couple eggs here. So when the grill gets kind of hot, we'll put the egg in there. We'll sort of mix it up, make it a scramble kind of uh, eggs in there, and we'll enjoy it with the with the lettuce wrap and uh, and the perilla leaf. So I, I didn't see, show you guys this yet. We got some lettuce wrap here, Korean lettuce wrap, the red lettuce. We got some cucumbers, some oyster mushrooms, and uh, some uh, perilla leaves that uh, we usually wrap the meat with and it's gonna be really good. And I showed you the garlic, I got some jalapenos, got some spicy bean paste to, to go, go with the wrap. And our main guy right here. Right here. Our brisket, thinly sliced. I'm usually they cook pretty well on the grill once the grill gets pretty hot, so. And then we'll wrap it together and we'll enjoy it with this guy right here. So mid midwinter night dram, um, it's made by the high High West Distillery in Utah. Let me pour a little bit more. I pour a little bit already, but let's pour. Top it off a tiny bit. So, um, this is a pretty high rye whiskey. It's sought after by a lot of people. It's one of the better whiskeys out there when it comes to High, high West. Once a year release, from what I understand, and it's epic. It's absolutely uh, amazing. Um, tastes like well, my friend would say it tastes like Thanksgiving or Christmas in a bottle, and it really does. And if you look at the bottle, you can't see it from the camera probably, but it's very, has, I don't want to call it imperfections, but the glass is not clear. It's sort of translucent, it has a little bit of a, like a dots of snow almost, if I want to describe it like that. So it's amazing. So let's first put the grill, meat on the grill. The grill is slightly tilted to this way, so the, if there's any oil, which I don't think it's gonna be that much oil for the brisket, it sort of drips down this way, but it's, it's really good if that oil sort of mixes in with the vegetable, in this case, with the mushroom, so. All right, that should be good. You go to Korean, like a tabletop barbecue place, a lot of places nowadays, they give you egg as well. It's pretty good. Some people don't like it. I like it. It tastes good with the meat and the whole setup. So, get the meat a little bit here. Turn on the fire. While that's cooking, cheers. Well, let's try with uh, a little uh, nose first. Peppery, typical of the rye. And vanilla, obviously. Good, pleasant, pleasant. What's the proof on this? 49.3, so it's, it's a pretty decent point. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for joining me. It tastes like a little bit of minty, a fresh taste. I just want to say like orangey, like a thick orange syrup, if that makes sense. Um, lemony taste as well. It has a pretty good mouthfeel. The finish is okay. It's not the it's not the thickest, but give it another swig. I 
I got this bottle 130, 125-ish. I understand this was probably in 2021 version was about $99, so $100. And they sort of increased the price this year. I know they, you know, they sell that for 150 or something like that. In secondary, I think it's like 300 or whatever, which is ridiculous. But I mean, for 100 bucks, 120 bucks, I think it's definitely worth it. It's really good. Again, very orange, thick marmalade feel in your mouth. A little lemony as well. And the mint taste is really pleasant to go along with that, that orangey citrus taste. The proof point is only 49. I mean, I say only 49, but it's not too high. It's not like barrel proof. So it's very pleasant to drink and very easy drinking, right? It's not burning anything as it's going down your, your pipes. And your nose doesn't burn as you smell it or anything like that. It's very pleasant, very easy to drink. I actually met, I, I haven't met anybody who doesn't like this, this, uh, this bottle. I know people complain about the price and the availability, obviously, but as far as the taste is concerned, no, I don't know, I haven't heard anybody. All right, let's go for a little taste. All right, let's go in. First bite. I haven't had a dinner last night. I did actually, but it was it was not that good. So this is, I haven't had breakfast. So this is actually your first meal in like 24 hours. So it should be good. I got the meat. All right. The bean paste, a little bit of jalapeno. Oh, can't forget the piece of uh, garlic. And a perilla leaf. There we go. All right, hold on. Let's try the minty whiskey with the meat and the minty leaf. All right, let's do this. I bet you it tastes freaking good. Good already. Here it goes. Pretty good. Not the flavor I expected. So I thought, before I had this, I thought, oh, it's gonna sort of melt the meat because of the alcohol and make the meat sweet. It didn't actually. Maybe because I ate with the minty, minty leaf over there, but it actually accentuated the, the, the fresh, minty, the vegetable-ness of it when I ate it together. So the food went in with the, the perilla leaf, and then when I had a little swig, there was like a mint explosion in the mouth when I was chewing it. And I thought that was pretty unexpected. I did not expect that at all. That was good. All right. Next one. Another garlic. The jalapeno is pretty spicy though, which I like. Cheers. Mm. It's that thick. You know the thing is, there are plenty of, ooh, spicy. There's plenty of times when I went to Korean uh, barbecue uh, place or some other, you know, barbecue or meat serving place where they didn't have like a whiskey or bourbon or whatever. And I would feel like it, you know, in the middle of the meal, you know, I would 
they'll get beer or whatever. Then I'll be like, oh, I wish I had a whiskey or I wish I had some uh, bourbon. I wish I had some single malt. That has occurred many, many times. But I think the mainstream uh, current, you know, the, the, the way of eating, you know, these kind of barbecue is you just sort of eat it with the beer or, or the regional, like a spirit, like a soju or, or a sake or something like that, right? Not really with any other but, um, spirits. But I think that could change. I mean, I mean, let me tell you this right now, it's really good. It's not, it's not just, uh, it's okay. You know, it's pretty good. This is really good. Mm. The egg is almost done. All right, let's try it with the mushroom this time, the wrap. Get both wraps together. Nice. Mushroom piece right here. And a slice of brisket. Cheers. Forgot to pour the whiskey before I ate the the meat. Again, the whiskey. Well, I had bourbon before. Just regular, like, um, I think it was the Eagle Rare or something like that, or Russell's, with Korean barbecue. And the way it tasted was very sweet. The, when, when it hit the palate, it sort of uh, meshed with the meat and made the meat uh, sweeter. This one, it does make it a little sweeter, but again, it's very minty, very fresh, like a winter, that you're like, you know, camping outside in the winter or something like that. That's sort of the, the feel I get. Oh, try to put more meat. Jalapeno, bean paste, and of course, I don't know, it's not gonna fit. We'll have it separate. Yeah, so. What I think, well, it's delicious. If you get a chance to pick it up somewhere, I know it's rare, it's not the most available bottle, but if you do see it somewhere um, at a reasonable price, reasonable price, you know, between 100 and 150, I say pick it up, at least try it out, it's really good. You know, it tastes like, you know, like an orange thick jam mixed with, you know, pine coney, wintry, you know, freshness, peppermint freshness uh, with, a little bit like a cinnamon nutmeg taste mixed in there. It's not too hot, it's very easy drinking, but has full flavor. I think that's what that's what people love about it. It has that full body flavor of the nutmeg, of the orange, of the of the sweetness, and it doesn't disappoint. I think every year everyone loves it, and there's a reason why there's a huge following for this one. So huge recommend for this one. Price, well, I wouldn't suggest you go higher than MSRP, but if you have to, no, I wouldn't, you know, it is, it's your money, it's your money. Korean barbecue, delicious brisket, standard, along with the pork belly. We'll try that next time. Um, it was really good, especially with the garlic and the jalapenos and the, and the mushrooms mixed together. Oh God, it was delicious. The spiciness of the jalapeno, I love the spiciness of the jalapeno and the spiciness of the rice sort of going together. I thought that was pretty complimentary and it was really, 
you know, spot on. I, I didn't expect that. I thought it was just gonna be, uh, you know, pretty sweet and, and just, you know, uh, it sort of melts the meat sort of deal. It did, but I think the point was that it really complemented the uh, the spiciness of this jalapeno and the spiciness of the uh, of the rye whiskey, and it just meshed very well, and it was delicious. So try it out. Unlikely you'll find this at a Korean barbecue restaurant, but if you are at home, you're treating some guests, uh, you know, and they do like whiskey, it's worth a try. So, okay, that's all I have for you today. Appreciate your time. If you got a chance, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button at the bottom. If you have any questions or comments, let me know at the bottom. I uh, read, I go through them, I uh, read through them, and I'll respond as much as I can. So, sounds good. Have a good day. Thanks again, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.